Hey everyone, I'm Sunday Conti for Ring TV and I have a living legend. I have been wanting to interview you for so long and thank you for taking the time out today. Okay, you know what? I'm going to come over here because I feel so far. Is this all right? It just, okay. All right, Tommy. Tommy the Hitman Hearns. I got so much to talk about you. I could sit in here and talk about all boxing. Forget about the fights that's going on. I want to talk about your life. But <laughs> he's like, I could do that. Oh, no. <laughs> I got to do some thinking about that. Uh, okay. Well, you know, you were here. You were just up there uh, for Spence versus Garcia. It was a live press conference. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that fight? It's going to be very interesting. It, it, I, I think whoever really show show up today, mm -hmm. they're going to be winning the fight. And what I mean by show up, in the right frame of mind. Yeah. No one will know, have, have an idea of what he wants to do all down pack and go out there and demonstrate that. Well, you know, these two guys are the brawlers or knockout artists. You're a knockout artist in your own right. You have 48 knockouts, 61 wins, correct? And five losses, am I right? No, a little bit different than that. It is? Yeah. Your box rack so it's wrong then. Box rack people, update it. What is it? See, I, I got 52 knockout. Oh, 50. Oh, okay. See, it's 52. Box rack, you need to update it. Oh, don't worry about it. They'll get it back right sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. Now, you were the middle way, you know what? God, Sugar, Sugar Ray Leonard, you got Hagler Hearns. I'm the one that asked Errol Spence. It wasn't a fight. Um, I go, if you had a dream matchup, a mythical matchup for yourself, who would, who would it be? It would be either you or Sugar Ray, uh, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. And I go, how would that happen? He's like, damn, uh, they kicked my ass. <laughs> you know, we, we fought a little different. Yeah. We, we really did, we really love to go out, go in there and get the job done. Instead of trying to go 12, 15 rounds, get the job done early, and you, then you go and relax and do whatever you else you want to do. That is true because they don't do 15 rounds anymore. It's it's not healthy, and I don't even know why people would want to go 15 rounds. Well, we did it. We've been there. We've been there. We did it, and um, it worked, and um, we came out, and I came out good. Are there, you know, some of your legendary fights, Hagler Hearns, and even with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard? Do you ever think back to this day? I could have done this different. Do you ever? Do you ever just reminisce and watch some of your old no. fights? You know. Um, I'm I'm very very contempt for what, what I did mm -hmm. and how I did it, and to go back and change it, it would probably be you know, no different. Yeah. I'll, I'll fight the same way, give my hearts and make sure that my fans, uh, when they go home, they have something to talk about. Now, since you've been, do you follow boxing? Do you do you watch fights currently? Do you have a do you uh, do you have favorite I, fighters I, that you I, like to watch? I, I kind of watch fights a little bit, but I don't have no, definitely favorites. Mm -hmm. I mean. I respect the guys who are out there, and I, I know that they out there and they have to go through a whole lot to prepare themselves to get themselves ready for a fight. So I, te I definitely still respect the guys because they, it's, no, it's no joke. You, you, when you train, you train hard. Mm -hmm. Now, with these middleweights, what do you think of the new generation of middleweights? You've been there, done that, old school, 15 rounders. It's 12 rounders. It's you know, it's different. They you train differently. You are the type that was you know running kind of like the Rocky, like hitting a log. You know, old school. There's none of these futuristic punching bag thingies. What do you what do you think of the new generation? Well, you know, they, they have a different way of doing things. They see that they think that. It's easy to do it that way than it was to do it the way we did it. But the old the old remedy never fades away. Yeah. It, it works and it'll always work. Mm -hmm. well, that is true. Now, I'm going to ask you some predictions. If you Do you follow, follow, do you follow the heavyweights? I know you were in UK not too long ago. Um, I, don't follow, I don't follow boxing like I used to. Yeah. I'm nowhere near with the knowledge of who so on is by boxing because it's not what I do no more. I mean, I, I don't have really have the needs of following that much as, as more much as I used to. Before I was fighting, I, I didn't know what each guy is going to do or what guy I bring to the table. But now, I look at it and I, if I like to like to perform, I tell them I'm great performance. Okay, well then, if you don't follow, did you happen to watch the Canelo Gennady fights as a middle? No. Do you know? Okay, Kana, you know uh, Daniel Jacobs is going to be fighting Canelo soon. 
I heard about this. I heard about this, but I, uh, am I going to fall? It's possible. I probably will. Uh -huh. Now, I will ask you the same question. Your mythical matchup. If you were to fight someone back in the day or even now from the, the fighters that you follow or you know, who would it be? Any weight class, actually. Yeah. Again, Marvin Hagler. Mar really? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you know, that was one. I could watch that fight over and over I and over. I don't watch me being in it all over again. Not, not sitting there. I don't watch it. Just watch me being in it again. Look at I, I see your hands getting yeah, yeah, ready. Yeah. You ready? Throw some blows. Yeah. <laughs> I go like, oh, I call, but we had to do some work. Let's go to work. <laughs> <laughs> now, out of what was your favorite fight out of your whole career? That was really my really, really favorite, my my most favorite fight I had. Yeah, and out of all of them, your toughest, like toughest as in, because toughest you can easily go 12 rounds, 14 rounds, toughest, but your uh, hardest. My the hardest the toughest fight was against um, a guy named Juan Domingo Rodan. Okay. It was tough, it was tough. I won the fight, but it was 12, it was 12 of the hardest rounds that I had to face, I really had to face up again. Now, you know, I saw that um, when I looked at your box track, you fought, you fought Iran Barkley. Would you ever want to fight him again? I fought Iran once, and Iran, Iran won the fight by, by, by taking a knockout. And if I had a chance to fight with Iran Barkley again, would I fight? Yes, I'll fight with you. You will. Uh, God, I, you know, I just want to sit you know, here and talk boxing. It, it, it's about... To me, it's not, it's not, it's not about running. Mm -hmm. or trying to hide. It's about facing what you have in front of you. Yeah. And when you face what you have in front of you, you, you don't know what you can do until you really go out and do it. And I know if I face them again, it's gonna to be totally different. Sir. That's no, there's a one question I do want to ask. I've been asking a lot of boxers, and doesn't really pertain to the newer ones. What is more important to you, the money or the legacy, the fight and the legacy? They're both. Both. You got to put them together because without, without the legacy, legacy, you go nowhere. But with the legacy, you go, you go a long way. And without the money, mm -hmm. yeah. you, you're doing nothing. You, you're just fighting for the hell of it. But in, in, in boxing, professional boxing, it's about the money and doing what you're supposed to do. And when you do what you're supposed to do, more money comes behind that. So you get make bigger money, bigger person. And when you're a bigger person, it makes you smile bigger, larger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it makes your pocket look good. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> and your, bi your bank account, your yeah. wallet. <laughs> and you say your butt. <laughs> <laughs> no. I did not say that. that. It make it make it fatter <laughs> because the money in your wallet, mm -hmm. the wallet is so big. Hey, what well, well, so big? I got some in there. Now, knowing back in your career, what would you tell your younger self? Would you change anything in your boxing career if you were, if you were, yeah, if you were to able tell yourself, what would be something different, or what would be the advice for yourself? Well, I'll. My, my my advice would be probably just not train hard, but but change it up to go out there and make them respect you. Yeah. And that's my plan. My my, my game plan too was well, before is make them respect me. Show them that I'm not just a skinny, skinny kid out here performing. I'm a skinny kid. That you gotta open your eyes and watch because I hurt you. Well, do you have advice for people out there that want to take this, uh, to pursue this sport? I say to people out there that want to learn how to box, fine, Danny, but make sure that you stay in the gym every day, for at least five days a week, to learn what you have to learn, so, so that you be able to prepare yourself for what was coming up for in the future. Oh, thank you so much, Tommy. It it is such a pleasure it's like seriously i was so excited when i was able to interview you and it, this is i saw you on stage i'm like he's not talking but i'm gonna get him to talk to me watch yeah thank you very much that's very sweet i appreciate that uh, thank you guys
Well, do you have any more plans in boxing? Do you? I know that you've been going around doing the. Um, you've been speaking on circuits. Pretty, pretty soon we'll stop promoting boxing. Ooh, is this is? Does anyone know this, or are you just kind of? Is this like uh, an exclusive ring? Exclusive? Did you hear that? My, my my thing is to. I did. I perform. I box, and now I won't go to the other side and stop promoting it. Okay. Giving you guys a chance to do something. Okay, well, if you need a ringside reporter, <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> um, when does this all When is this all going to happen? It's gonna happen? Pretty soon, pretty soon. Probably, probably by by next year. Any, do you have any prospects? Uh, not right now. I got I got my I got my eye on some people. Are you Are you going to be looking sti strictly in the U.S. or are you going to be going abroad? Because there I'm, are some good. I'm going to go all over. I'm going to have to go all over the world and. and and get the people I want to, who want to fight. Because I want to bring in the exciting fight that people really want to see mm -hmm. done happen. And if I, if I bring in what they want, they'll support it. Okay. So I want people to support what I'm doing. Are you going to have female boxers? I'm, I'm doing all Maybe female. I'm going to be upset if you don't. I'm, I'm going to have female and, and male. Both, they, both got, they both got to fight. If, 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 if she trained, if the female trained, she has to need to have a fight. So I'm going to give them a chance. Good. Well, I just dropped a ring exclusive by Hitman Hearns himself. Is it going to be called, is it going to called, is it going to be called Hearns Promotions? Hearns Hitman? Hearns, Hearns Entertainment. Woo! Finally, another promoter in the mix. Eddie Hearn, top rank, Oscar. Did you hear that? He's yeah. coming in. Hey, Hitman. Hitman's coming. <laughs> Move over. <laughs> Make room for the Hitman. <laughs> That's a really good slogan right there, mm -hmm. make room for the hitman. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't seen any of um, Hearn's fights, I think you really should because it is, it's is—it's something special. It is a treat. Get some popcorn because you want to see some good brawls, 14, 15 rounders where men were real men that go in it and leather touching leather. Leather touching meat. Leather touching meat. Leather touching meat. Leather touching meat. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> it, hurts. it hurts. What was the worst punch you've ever received from anybody? I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I gave a lot of stuff. I received a lot of punches. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It was hard to say. Now, what the, was the hardest punch I ever gave, gave somebody? A crisp right hand, right down the middle. Like it's like it's like a baseball player hitting the ball right at the yeah. park, yeah. You know, and I hit him right here like that. Like Good that. night, everybody. Good night. Oh. See ya. Well, I am so excited that you're you're being active in in boxing, and you're going to be able to um, show all these young pros prospects who you are and what you want out of these boys, cause and girls, cause. I, I can't wait for it to happen because. It's something that I've been thinking about doing for quite a while now. And now that I, I, I have the opportunity, I'm going to make everything happen, happen the right way. Okay. Well, thank you, and good luck to you and to your new venture. I cannot wait. We, we will be seeing him very, very soon with his stable of fighters. But if not, go to BoxRec, fix his, um, his, uh, his knockouts because it's more than 48. It's 52, right? Five losses, though. I lost. You got that right. I got that right. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV. See you guys at the fights. Bye, guys.